Hello, hello, my lovely Tauruses. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. Uh, my name is Christina. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Taurus, we have the siren, the mirror, the flame, the forest, the hunter, and the medallion. I mean, I feel like starting with the, the hunter and the siren, honestly, I just feel like there's something that you really want to do, something that you are like, like decided upon, um, you know, or there's somebody who you're dealing with that's decided upon something. I think it could vary for my Tauruses, but I'm going to read it one way and you take it how it resonates and leave the rest. But this energy is very like, like pointed desire, <laughs> you know, like the, the call, the soul of the Chiron, this, the call of the siren is like the point of it is that you can't ignore the call. Um, and I feel like there is very much an idea here of like, you cannot ignore this call. Um, I think that there is an idea of an illumination of understanding of a fractured idea that reawakens something inside of you that really just serves as, a, as like a catalyst for, for movement. My sweet molasses babies. <laughs> Um, I love y'all so much, but I feel like whatever this energy is, especially with all this Aries energy, and I feel like it has something to do with Taurus right now, but I'm not totally for sure what, like maybe Taurus is in Jupiter or something, but anyways, it's expansive and, and it's fast. It's accelerated. You know, we are in an accelerated energy right now. I don't know if y'all have been feeling like the retrograde already, but it has been just the strangest past like couple of days where you're just like, what in the world? <laughs> you know what I mean? And it hasn't been bad. It's just been like, well, some of it's been bad, but, but even that bad has just been really like, what? <laughs> okay. More shocking than like detrimental, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles. It's so funny, y'all, because the Ace of Pentacles somehow ended up in this deck and it fell out twice. New beginnings, new beginnings. Um, it's time. It's time for new beginnings. It's time to go in a direction that you are able to actually commit yourself to knowing that it will develop into something more instead of just committing yourself to like poison. Because that bag of woes, right? We've been on that bag of woes for a minute. <laughs> But I feel like whatever this epiphany is, this bigger picture is, this bigger picture offers you the, the motivation that you need in order to really go. Again, if you're on the other side of the story, then there's something that's being brought to light for someone else that is enabling them to see a bigger picture that's making them make decisions to go in different directions um, that I think is impacting you. Um and bringing into your life a new opportunity. Um, again, take what resonates, how it resonates, and leave the rest. But Taurus, it's a good feel. It's a good, good speed, a good quickness. The fool. The king of cups. The eight of pentacles. Yes, because whatever it is that you're doing, you're, you're, you are definitely setting off on something new. It is definitely something new. The full, the Ace of Pentacles twice. You've been working on it though. Like whatever this is, this direction that you're going, you're prepared for it. You've studied for this exam. You've, what, I don't know, like, <laughs> you know, like you've done all of your homework. You have, um, you know, like you've put in the hours, you've done the time, you know, I just kind of feel like this, like you've steady been building and now you are finally getting to go and do something that I think you are just super passionate about. I, I don't know. It just feels like one of those things where like pinch me, is this too good to be true? Like that's, that's dope as fuck. <laughs> Hope it resonates. Okay. Taurus, this is kind of a, I feel like this is a quick read, but it is like reading as a quick read also. So there's that. <laughs> okay. Taurus. Queen of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. Well, there is an offer here. 
Um, I don't know if you are moving forward towards something or someone's moving forward towards you, but whatever it is, it's big, it's fast, and it's something that you really, really want. And I love that. Um, I think it's something that offers you a lot of opportunity for growth and abundance and wealth. Um, you know, if it's a financial endeavor, it seems like it's an endeavor that's going to just like open the doors for you, um, you know, and, and new opportunity for finance. Um, you know, it does have very much this like job kind of feel because you've got the wands, you've got the eight of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles, um, you know, like the contract card, the page of, of swords, the knight of swords, it feels like you are, you are getting invested in something. Um, or just switching roles entirely and, and moving all together. And maybe I know, I think Heidi, you've had, you know, like you're starting your new position. I mean, like if, if this is playing out for you, I feel like whatever it is, you're really enjoying it and you're, you're feeling like it's something to actually take care of in a way that it experiences growth. Right. Um, you know, and, and for any of my Tauruses who are experiencing that right now, not just her, but I know she's commented and hi, Heidi, thank you so much for being here. Um, but yes, um, I think that, that uh, it, good things are on the horizon and they're coming to you quickly and, you feel prepared, you know, I don't feel like this is coming out of the blue for you. Um, I feel like it's something that you've really wanted, honestly, for a while. You've just been kind of afraid a little bit, you know, hesitant, but I feel like no sooner do you like get into it that you're like in there, you know what I mean? Like you're doing the damn thing and you're exploring all the things that there are to explore because the eternal child has like an exploratory energy, you know, like children don't know to, to not try things until they either do it themselves or, you know, somebody gives them the heads up that like, that's not a great idea, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or that is a great idea, you know, but I feel like there is just this energy of like, you're doing something you haven't done before. It's something that you're very prepared for. And it's something that even though you might be a little bit nervous about it, it's exactly what you want. And it, and it's fast. It's fast coming, <laughs> whatever it is. All right, Taurus. Well, I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if this video did resonate, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.